Hello everyone, this is Purshottam and welcome to my channel. So uh, today's topic is uh, how can you remediate when you uh, get an error message uh, while you are trying to access the vCenter web console and the error says that this site can't be reached. So this is a very common error and uh, there might be chances that you are trying to reach the vCenter web console and it is not reachable and you get this message as shown here in the screenshot. But at the same time, the vCenter appliance management console is accessible. So here, my vCenter's IP address is 192.168.1.206. And while I'm trying to access the vCenter web console, it says that the site is not reachable or the site can, can't be reached, right? And similarly, if I am trying to access the vCenter appliance management console by using 5480 port number, it is allowing me to log in through the vCenter server management console, right? So the remedy to this particular error is mentioned in the upcoming slide. So you just need not to worry about that. You just need to, uh, you just need to do a simple tweaking in your host file, which is located at C Windows System 32 drivers etc. Right. This is the host file, as you can see here, and you open the host file with Notepad. Right click on the host and open with notepad and you just need to provide the IP address, which is 192.168.1.206. And in front of the IP address, you need to provide the FQDN, fully qualified domain name or the complete name of the server that is vcenter.rlab.local. This is the local vcenter uh, for my lab with the name of vcenter.rlab.local, right? And once you do this setting, just uh, close the host file, save the settings, and bravo, the vcenter is running now. So this is how you can remediate the vcenter related problem. So if you like the video, please share it, subscribe it, and uh, please add your comments if you want to know something else. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.